Guys, I need help. I recently started playing the bass, and in talking to a coworker about their indie band, they said they were looking for a new bassist. I had already told him I played the bass and that I was getting really good. Without thinking, I offered to try out. He sent me recordings of five of their songs and asked me to get familiar with them for the tryouts. My question is, how do I make the bass line from Smoke on the Water fit into five different songs? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hardly slapping. Thank you. Very easy. Yeah. Very, very easy. This okay. is an old trick that I learned from my uncle. Um, you just walk up to them and you say, guys, I wrote you a big, sexy bass hook. Sexy hook. And you just tell me, throw whatever one of your songs at me you want, and I promise you, I will make any, any of these songs sound exactly like Smoke on the Water. It'll blow your mind. <laughs> and then whatever song they request, it's going to sound like Smoke on the Water, and they're going to say... You're really good at making that song sound like Smoke on the Water. That's going to win you the tryouts, boy. And if they see that you can turn any song into <laughs> Smoke on the Water, they're going to be blown away. Yeah, I definitely don't think practice is the answer here. I don't know why you would practice. I don't think practice is the answer here. You started playing, and that's good enough. I, I started playing at one point, and then I said I'm basically the greatest bassist that Earth has uh, it dawned upon yeah i had i had a guy reach out to me once and he a friend of mine and he started talking about his band now i go to their concerts because i know how good they are and it's one of those things where i went to their concert and af after telling him that i also played the bass i i left the concert saying i do not play the bass <laughs> it was that sort of thing like i i left being like eh, that's not an instrument that i play i looked up at the stage and saw him playing the bass saying huh i could play that and after about a half hour i looked back at my hands and said, oh, these hands can't do that. These hands can't do that. These hands weren't meant for a play in the bass. Uh, yeah, it's never been my best instrument. It was kind of an instrument of opportunity. And so uh, if that's what's going on here, just <laughs> accept what it is, I'd say. Yeah, I've been playing piano on and off for a couple of years, and I still don't have the confidence if someone was like, oh, hey, try out and do this with the piano. I'd be like, I don't know if I can because... I don't know where my skill level is at. It's a guessing game with uh, instruments. Maybe maybe you playing Smoke on the Water on the bass is better than everybody else that auditions. That's very possible. Yeah, we actually literally have no way to tell how good you are even by just saying the inference of you only knowing Smoke on the Water. Because maybe you played the absolute most pristine version of Smoke on the Water God has ever heard. <laughs> The absolute most slappinest smoke on the water we have ever heard, yeah. It's as simple as when Freddie Mercury's bassist was like, hey, I got this, and he just went, do, 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 and then he made that into a loop, and that became Another One Bites the Dust, and everybody loves that song. Do you know how easy it is, if you can hold a bass, to do that? Just do that, and they will love you. <laughs> Just say, I wrote this slapping bass line and just make it like, do, 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 and then just be like, no, but then we loop that, and then you guys add all of this stuff. And then you do everything else on top of it, and you got a bang and hit right there. You just, you don't want to intrude. You want to show that you can hold a bass, but like... You're not going to mess with their creative genius, you know? And then you're in, and you get paid just as much as them, and that's cool. You're you're going to impress them. You're going to do great. You're going to be a wonderful bassist. You owe us 10% royalties for all of your music. Because we did kind of create you. We did create you.